Hi, my name is Justin Yanualves and I'm a senior software developer. This is the second video of the series of the video that I have been doing to show you how you can generate glass mapper model with TDS using T4 template code generation. Um, in this video, basically what I'm going to show you is how you can set up your glass map model project properly to be connected with the TDS project to generate those glass map model. It's going to be easy and it's a very short video and then just follow me. So basically here in the Visual Studio, I'm going to create a new project. And then for this new project, I'm going to use the class .net framework. And the project name is going to be dict.models. Since that's what this project is going to contain, it's just a models. Um, and then after create the project, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this class because I'm going to create a new one. So now, basically, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to install the some site core uh, library for for be, before we install the, the glass mapper. So I'm going to switch the get back manager source, and then I'm going to search for the site core kernel, which is the first one that I'm going to install. Uh, it's very important you choose the version, and also you remove you check the option to remove install the dependency. So, and then when you install Sitecore kernel, which is requirement before you install the glass mapper. So now you go to, to the main and you get package, and then basically you're going to look for the site to install Sitecore MVC, which is another DLL that is requirement before you install the glass mapper. So it's the Sitecore 9 version 2, also ignore the dependency to install it. And then So then after we install all the site core DLL that is a requirement, so we have to install the glass mapper. Uh, to install the glass mapper, choose change the package source. And also it's very important you look for the specific version of the glass mapper, which is uh, compatible with site core 9.2. So the, the version, now you have the version, the site core version, the name of the DLL, so it make that easy. So I'm gonna just add the version to the to the search box to make that easy to find out the DLL. So yeah, see I have it here on the top. So just, uh, yeah, you have to update the option again because you want to install all the dependency. Uh, then just bear with me; it's gonna be quick to install it because basically this is all you have to do is to install the the DLL. Okay, so just waiting, then this is going to take a little bit, and then it's going to install that DLL. Um, and then this is all the dependency. And then as you see, it installed successfully. It will create all the, the, the it will add all the DLL that Glass Mapper needs to the project. And then, so yeah, that's all. Should be good, should be good to go. So as you see in this video, we create the glass mapper model project with all the dependencies, site core, and add the glass mapper DLL. So the next video, we're going to be using the T4 template code generation uh, to generate all the glass mapper strong type class. So just stay tuned with, with me.